Welcome back to another Thursday on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your Thursday host, Yeka. And this week we're talking about pagan gatherings, meetups, um, just socializing. So our question comes from Jenny Vamp 5 who writes, Hi guys, I was wondering if you could tell us about your experiences with different pagan meetups. Whether it's local moots, or meetups, gatherings, camps, or pride events. How did you find out about them? Did you enjoy them? And how do they differ from each other, etc.? So I had to kind of think about what gatherings I've gone to that were specifically pagan. Um, and I came up with, when I was living in Cardiff, I went to the pagan moot there twice. Um, I here in New Mexico, in, in northern New Mexico where I'm from, we have uh, Ardentain, the Ardentain Center. Um, I will drop a link to them in the description below. And they are about um, an hour and a half's drive, from, not actually distance-wise very far from me, but because they're in the mountains, just the way that the roads work, about an hour and a half's drive from um, where I am. Uh, and then I also did some, I did uh, the Earth Activist training uh, twice actually um, out in um, Northern California. Um, and then I've done kind of small, you know, half a dozen folks just private gatherings. So the larger ones, the first ones that I mentioned, those I all found out about through the internet. Um, the Cardiff Moot was really interesting because it was super academic, and I don't know if that's what it always was like, or it just happened to be the ones that I went to were. Uh, and the Cardiff University has the Celtic department, so I think that that's where you know, it already had that kind of academic um, group of people there. So that was really a lot of fun to go to. It was in a a pub uh, right across from the castle where you could like look out and see the castle from the upstairs that they, I guess it, it sounded like they rented it out every time. Um, so I think I found them, I just did like pagan, I just googled it um, and found their listing. Uh, Ardentain was advertising in a newspaper that I was uh, doing layout and um, was an associate editor for. So I found out about them years ago and then eat, you know, I just was googling and reading about permaculture. Um, so they were all very different. Um, oh, in the Argentine I used to go to the, the volunteer days, but it's a little bit far. Um, very different feelings, um, in general very welcoming people that, and, um, but, but again just very very different, very academic in Cardiff. Ardentine was mostly folks from Albuquerque, um, and I really enjoyed going. I really loved, um, the two high priestesses were really just cool people. Um, there was a regular there who kind of turned me off. Um, not one of the two um, kind of leaders, but and I just felt really uncomfortable with kind of with some of her behavior. She was a she was very into like the orders of Wicca. Like she was a I don't even remember what like position in the hierarchy. And I think that she found folks like myself and some of the people I was going with who were just sort of raised this way. Um, and very loosely, without real strict hierarchy, I think she found us very threatening. So I was kind of turned off by her, so I stopped going to that, just because it was just so far. It, well, I mean, this was in the days when gas was five dollars a gallon, so it just wasn't, it didn't make sense for me to be able to go. Um, and then with Eat, that was, and also I'll put a link to that in the description below, uh, I absolutely loved and found that that was um, and just very very powerful um, and we were really focusing on the permaculture and the connection between the activism and permaculture and the spirituality elements of that so that was really 
awesome. Um, so what else? Um, the small group gatherings, um, I don't do those very much anymore. Um, I don't, I mean, we're a pagan household, but I don't really seek out pagan groups for the eight holidays. We usually have a meal at our home and invite our very close friends who are not pagans, who are Christians, atheists, and hi. Um, and we focus on the things that all of us really connect on and share in common and just don't really, I mean there's, an, obviously there's things that we disagree on, but our core ideas about, you know, how to behave and, and what we value, um, we just focus on those when we get together. So, yeah, check out the links in the description below. Um, and I think it's Subs Week next week, and then we'll be back in November. So if you folks have gone to any meeting, any meetups, camps, um, that sort of thing, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And see you next video. Take care.